Hi, I'm Frank Rye from publicspace.net. Today I'm going to be talking about how to correct time zone and more generally shooting date and time errors in your photos. We all recognize this situation. We are coming back from holiday and we upload all our photos into Apple Photos or some other photo management product, only to find that our pictures do not show up in the correct place or that the dates are all wrong or that our breakfast pictures are tagged as having been taken at 8 p.m. or vice versa. And of course this completely messes up our photo albums. This is a particular problem if we shoot with a DSLR or other external camera, because while our iPhone usually adjusts its internal clock automatically, few external cameras have that feature. And thus our photos are taken with a camera with an incorrectly set internal clock. Some cameras, especially the ones with built-in GPS, also try to record time zone information. But for most commonly used image formats, the timestamp fields do not support time zone information because they were developed well before GPS enabled cameras became a thing. The JPEG pictures that most of us shoot use the Japanese EXIF standard, which explicitly records all times in camera time without any time zone information at all. There are cameras that add time zone information to those timestamps, but that's often worse than not recording them at all because this is a non standard feature and is largely unsupported in third party software. So, it might work in one application, but not another. Whatever the source of the incorrect date and time information, I have found that it is best not to worry too much about the source of the issue, and just add and remove the requisite amount of time to make your particular photo management product happy. In this video, we are going to be using my Better Find Attribute 7 tool to make those changes. This is a Mac only product, but if you go onto my website and look for the Windows products, you'll find Photo Day Changer for Windows, which has a very similar interface and allows you to do the same thing on Windows. Okay, so here we have a Better Find Attribute 7 and its current action is set to Set Content Creation Timestamp. But what we want for this particular adjustment is Adjust EXIF Content Creation Timestamp. Below that, there's also an option for setting both the EXIF Content Creation Timestamp and the File Creation Date. The File Creation Date is part of the file system entry for this file, while the EXIF content creation timestamp was embedded inside of the image file at the moment that you shot your picture. Most of the time it's probably best to change both those timestamps at the same time so that your image files sort correctly in the finder as well as showing up in the correct place in your photo album. But we are going to stick with the former. I'm going to be dragging in some pictures that I took on a family vacation to the Greek island of Kos in 2019. The column called Composite shows the shooting date of these pictures and we can see that they have been shot on the 19th of August 2019. We can preview a picture and its metadata by just clicking on it in the table. So we can see here that the file creation date is the 27th, not the 19th of August. This is because the 19th is when I first exported the pictures from my camera onto my Mac. The daytime original date here is the actual shooting date and the one that Apple Photos and most image management software uses in preference to all other stored dates. You would have noticed that my pictures are in ARW format, which is the Sony RAW image format, but the daytime original is pretty universally used in all JPEG and RAW formats, and it is part of the EXIF standards that I already mentioned. Below it, you can see the daytime digitized, which is the correct field to use for scanned images. You can also see other dates, like the content creation date, the QuickTime, TIFF, create date, etc. Those are mostly used for video files. And since I'm trying to demonstrate here what to do if you have taken pictures with an incorrectly set camera clock, let's say that this first picture here wasn't taken at 12 noon, but two hours earlier, around breakfast time, so 10.49 rather than 12.49. So how would you go about correcting this? Well, we want to remove time and exactly two hours of it. You can also see that there are two pop-up buttons here that allow us to select which timestamp will be changed for images or for movie files. So the default selection here is really what we want 99% of the time. As I mentioned, most photo management software will first look at the daytime original timestamp and only look for other timestamps if this one is absent. We can also only change the daytime digitized, which is the correct thing to do for scanned files. Or we can change both the daytime original and the daytime digitized, which is what I would personally recommend. 
because daytime digitized is not so widely supported and having both really does no harm. So all we need to do now is click on the Perform Changes button. Now when I click on the OK button, you should see the times change here in the composite column. All right, this is 1049 now, and the other files have also been changed. A quick word about how to do this if you have already imported your files into Apple Photos. You should never directly change files that are already in Apple Photos photo library. You always need to export them first, then correct the dates, and finally re-import them into Apple Photos. When you export the files, make sure that you export the unmodified originals, because those will be full quality files. When you re-import the files, I would recommend importing them into their own separate album. Once imported, check that the files are full resolution, that all their metadata is correct. Only once you are certain that everything is okay with the new files, delete the originals and replace them with the corrected ones. And that's it for this short video. I hope you have found it to be useful. Please subscribe for more content and let me know in the comments if you want to see a video about a particular subject. Thanks for watching.